I had a realization the other day. Uh, what happened? I was out with my girlfriend, our friends. We were out on the town. Okay. We were going to like this pool, this heated pool. And what we were town? Gonna, in, in Asbury. Okay. We were going to go to this <laughs> heated pool and go for a swim. So I thought about something. Every guy thinks about this one thing, but no girls do. What is it? All right. I'm going to paint a picture for you. Paint it. I'm going to paint it for you. Like Here Picasso. All right. Think about this. You're walking into your friend's backyard, maybe their parents' house, okay? In the suburbs. Okay. Let's say in the suburbs. Yes. You walk in back. You see a nice pool. Yes. Okay? You're, it's, it's, it's a summer day. You're going for a swim. I want to know how deep the pool is. No. No. <laughs> I've asked multiple guys the same question. I asked them if they think this one thing, and all guys said yes, and no girl said yes. The thing is, can I jump from the roof into the pool? <laughs> I don't think that's what I'm thinking. Have you ever thought that, though? I have thought it, but it's not the first thing. No, I'm not saying the first thing. Sorry, I mis- mispronounced that. <laughs> Miss said that. Misspoke. Misspoke there. I asked my dad. Immediately, he said yes. <laughs> my mom said, I've never thought that. I've never thought about that in my entire life. Nope. My girlfriend said she's never thought about that in her entire life. I thought it. The guy I was with thought it. My dad thought it. A guy at the bar thought it. It's a thing. I think of it in like hotels. Oh, yeah, those are high, though. <laughs> when you're up on, like, the 30th floor and you're looking down and you see that pool, there's, like, kind of a temptation to jump into it. Now, do not try this at home. Well, or in a hotel, if you want to. <laughs> no, don't do Don't it. try it. <laughs> don't try it. No, don't try it. Uh, you immediately become, like, a physicist, and you're like, what's the angle? How much in between? How much sidewalk is in between? How deep is the pool? Is mm. it the low end? Is it the deep end? I always think... Uh, you assess the situation. If I could jump over the train track. You know, what? like, <laughs> like that's something I think that I'm doing that calculation for. Like I'm waiting for the Pat train in Jersey city. Oh, and I'm like, I'm like, how can I make it over that? Like a I'm like, subway train track. Yeah. Cause I don't want to walk up and over and then down and then down and around. I'm like, what if I just jumped over it? Some of them are very far. Yeah. Some of them are far. Some of them are doable. I think in New York, if it's one platform, you think it's doable. I think I can, might be able to do it without a running start. That's no, you can't. no, I can't. That's and I insane. wouldn't. And I wouldn't. I wouldn't do any of these. No, you think of that. I've also thought of the slide from your room to the pool. Oh, yeah. I never had a pool in my yeah, house. But yeah. if I did, I was like, I'm going to build a slide because I could see that thing. And like, imagine just yeah. waking up and just sliding down into or the pool. a fireman's pole. A fireman's pole would be. That's more <laughs> doable. Well, that goes. That doesn't just, go directly into the pool. Though. No, just downstairs. Yeah. No, from no, upstairs no. To downstairs. I want to end up in the pool. Yeah. Okay. You know, my dad's dream. Zip line. And it let, oh, zip line's really good too. Yeah. Like the, I think you should leave episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he won't get off the zip line. <laughs> My dad's dream was always to wake up in the morning and go in the pool. And he yeah. finally did it when he moved to Florida. And he finally bought a pool. And yep. he's the only person that I know that goes consistently in the pool he every the single pool. day. He also loves warm the beach. Enough. He loves the beach. He loves the pool. It's what he does. And he loves warm weather. He loves warm weather. Phenomenal. Yeah. That was a good start. I, I really had that great real, realization. I think it's a real thing. Took you a little Comment bit. Comment if. If that's a real thing in the comments. <laughs> if you're a guy and if you're a girl. Took you a little bit to get there. Yeah, I know. A little bit, It's early on in the podcast. It's, early it's on an podcast. exciting podcast. Podcast 68. We got a big reveal later. We have a big reveal. Sorry, Revealing I'm crossing something. that off my list. It's okay. You do that. It's a big reveal. Yeah, we hit a million subs. We have a big reveal coming. Big reveal. Big I mean, news. There's an announcement. There might be some show and tell. There's right? a lot there of stuff happening. There is some show and Just tell. Just say it. Stuff is there happening. is show and tell. Stuff is happening here stuff in the studio. Happening. Guess what? what? I got a bunch of new types of series for this podcast. I'm excited. I and have some too. I'm so excited. Let's do I'm it. Stoked. All right, let's, let's lock in here. I I I'm not wearing a hat too. Oh, should I take my hat yeah. off? Yeah, that's bald gonna, podcast. That's, bald podcast. That's not gonna. Not podcast 100. Maybe that's come on. <laughs> podcast <laughs> so, 75. Uh, we'll see. 75. Uh, maybe. 75. I like bald that's in like Zach. two months. Bald Zach is better than somewhat hair. Let's Zach. see it. Bald Zach is better than somewhat hair Zach. Well, you have somewhat hair. Yeah, but I got longer and I was... Why don't you try growing it out again? I tried a little bit and then I just bust it. Oh, okay. I'm working on it. All right, let me hear your series. Okay. I like scrolling through Twitter. Twitter is a fun space. Yes, X. Sorry. Get it right. Apologies, Elon. Elon. Um, So I wanted to do a series of who tweeted it. Okay. So I'm going to read a tweet and you're going to tell me who tweeted it. Just, is it multiple choice? It's not multiple choice. Okay. <laughs> You're just going to give me your best okay. celebrity or athlete right. guess. I'll give you a hint. The first two are only athletes. And then okay. I have a third one. All so right. we're let's, going through a lot of these. All right. Who tweeted it? 
Scarlett Johansson, I will drink your bath water. Dot, dot, dot. Hashtag random. I feel like Kanye West is a good option for no, all of these it's here. Athletes, it's athletes. No, but I'm just saying, I feel like he could be a good option for these wild tweets, no matter what they're about. You'd probably be right. Uh, what was the hashtag? Hashtag random. So just a random thought. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. See, you're better than you thought you were. I knew that one. How'd you know that one? That's just an iconic tweet it's just right like, there. Yeah, it's one of the best. He 2011. Loves, loves Scarlett 2011, Johansson. KD was just ruthless. Off the cuff. He was ruthless. He still kind of is. He could say anything. Okay, what about this one? Babe, are you single or nah? At Rihanna. So this player added it's Rihanna. A, it's an athlete. Yes, athlete. Babe, are you single or nah? I'll at even Rihanna. tell you it's it's this is NBA theme. It's an NBA guy? Correct. It's an NBA player. This has to be like a pretty bold, pretty bold guy. Pretty bold it's guy. Not like He's Steph out there. Curry. He's not married, I'm assuming. Not married. I would hope not. That would be a problem. He's a big issue. person. Shaq? Not Shaq. Mm. Oh, Shaq just shooting shots. He has a family, Brian. He doesn't have a wife. Well, not anymore. Yeah. All right. Well, it's it's Joel Embiid. Just shooting a shot with Rihanna. I mean, yeah. He's go out for there. it, Joel. I'm, sure. Go he is a it. big man. He's a huge man. Didn't you see him on vacation once? Yeah. At, uh, yeah. Water Park. Atlantis. Atlantis? In Bahamas. And he was like riding the slide and everything? Yeah. He went down the slide. I fit on the slide. Seems like a great guy. Yeah. Okay. This one tagged Amber Rose. I know this is random, but I seen you in LA and you got the meanest bald head ever. <laughs> Better than MJ, Charles Barkley, and all dumb. All dumb. And all dumb. And is this an athlete? It's an athlete. It's an NBA player? NBA player. And all dumb. It's a guy who likes bald heads. Her, she has a phenomenal bald head. It's top yeah, would three. you put her? Top. I feel like you can talk better than my bald head. <laughs> Absolutely, she's just got the head for it. If I could take the Amber Rose bald head, I would take really? it. Really? Absolutely. Bruce Willis? No. Yes. Oh, Mr. I Clean? thought you meant that he tweeted. No. <laughs> like, no. Um, um, Mr. Clean's good. Oh gosh, I don't know. All them. I've, who would say all them? Russell Westbrook? No, it is also Kevin Durant. Oh. Kevin Durant's <laughs> just out there shooting he, shots. Yeah, he loves Twitter. He might be the funniest NBA player on Twitter. He's definitely the most active on Twitter. Definitely the most active. All right, I got another one. Have y'all ever tasted your significant other's breast milk asking for a friend? <laughs> You've never heard this? No. This was this season. Who, is this an NBA player? NBA player. Oh, my God. This are was, all these NBA players still? No. Okay. These are athletes. Can you repeat the repeat it? Okay. <laughs> have y'all ever tasted your significant other's breast milk asking for a friend? I have a guess. Okay. James Harden. Oh, no. Oh. This person is best friends with someone in the league. They're act, they have, they started a podcast recently called The Roomies or something. Oh, like that. Uh, uh, Jalen Brunson. Not him. Josh Hart. Josh Hart. <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> Jalen Brunson, I think, replied to the tweet. I was like, dude, no. who has your phone? Like, what is going on here? This is him. Oh, unbelievable. It was, maybe it was out on the town a little too late. <laughs> All right. I was richly blessed to play with the GOAT Larry Fitzgerald my rookie year. Miss you, LF. And then there's a picture of Brittany Griner and not Larry Fitzgerald. Oh, my God. So you could use context clues on this one. Yeah, I mean, it's a Cardinal receiver. Who's a rookie. He was a rookie. Who was, was a rookie. blessed to have played with Larry Fitzgerald. So someone who's a little bit more newer age. Oh, is it DeAndre Hopkins? No, 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 no. Think about quarterback right, wide receiver. Oh, it's a quarterback. Yeah. Oh, Kyler Murray? Kyler what Murray. Is he an idiot? I oh, was he know trying to be funny? I have no idea. He must have been making a joke. I can't get a read on he Kyler had, Murray. I can't either. He's a strange human. He's, he's kind of weird. All right, what about this one? At Miley Cyrus, neck is cray with like five Ys. Hashtag neck is cray? Hashtag damn. It's now, an athlete? Give me a hand. It's someone that we just previously mentioned. Is it KD? It's not KD. Oh, God. If it was KD, that's an issue. Uh, is it Josh Hart? Not Josh Hart. The James other Harden? No. Joel Embiid. Joel, Joel, Joel Embiid. Embiid. <laughs> oh, God. These people so are weird. uncuffed. They're crazy. Yeah, they're literally wild. All right, this one's a celebrity one. Have y'all ever tasted your significant... Oh, wait. I just said that one. <laughs> Josh <laughs> I was Hart. Like, wow, no. Who tweeted it? You could say anything as long as you put the right emoji next to it. First of all, a fact. It's a fact. Uh, anything? Yes, you could say anything. I as don't long think as you could say anything. Now, who would be in that realm of saying anything? They Kanye West. Kanye West is the one. Kanye who West is it. like the king of Twitter. Yeah, or X. Besides Elon Musk, it's Kanye West. He's he, outspoken. He's just he, outspoken is like <laughs> underwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. I had no idea a pickle was really a cucumber. You guys totally confirmed it. Kanye West. No, this is a woman. 
That's not a bad guess. A pickle is a cucumber? You're actually in the family, kind of. Oh, it's former. one of the Kardashians. Former family. It's, like, it's oh, Kim. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is Kim. It's Kim. Did I just Kim give that away? I, I honestly didn't even know she was on Twitter. Yeah. Not going to lie. I think she Kanye posted... Kanye probably brought her on Twitter. I think she posted a picture of a cucumber or something, and then like she called it a pickle. I don't know what happened. Oh, I know what happened. It's what happened? in the Kardashians. It's a clip. Is it? I don't watch the Kardashians. When did you see it? It's on like Instagram Reels or something. Yeah. I watch TikTok. everything through. Uh, I'm a third party viewer of shows. On Love is social. Blind, The Bachelor, Real Housewives. On social media? No, just in general. Like, because my girlfriend watches some of those shows, oh, you and watch I'll it hop in them. and I'll be that boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And then, like, my mom growing up used I to watch The Housewives, sometimes. and like, I hop in. It's interesting. It's drama. It's good I stuff. I get it. I get it. Okay. Last one is meatball and fruit. A N fruit. It's meatball and fruit. Oh, he just had a misspell. It must is, have been a is typo. Is meatball a fruit? And fruit. It's, it's a guy? It's a guy. Artist. Rapper. Kanye West. No. <laughs> Again, I guess for good everything. guesses for everything. Uh, is meatball and fruit. Uh, Travis Scott. <laughs> Not Travis Scott. I have it's no Post idea. Malone. Oh, God. Post. I wonder what was going on. He must have been eating and just had a thought. He probably was like eating and tweeting at the same time. <laughs> and it had a little consuming and wondering. Misspell. You know, if it was a fruit, it'd be a lot healthier. I guess. I guess it would be. <laughs> All right. That was it. Well, talking about food. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? I have this cool thing. Okay. I want to go into it. Um, so I would like to assume that like you're more athletic than 50% of like more athletic than the average person. Are you saying me? Yeah. Yeah. And me. Yeah. I would say we're both more athletic than the I average would, person. I would say so. I yeah. would agree with that. Are you above or below the average human? Okay. So I have some statistics on how many times a day people do these things. I want to see if you're above it or below it. Okay. Let's rip okay. it. How many times do you fart in a day? Oh, a deathly amount. How much? Realistically. 30 plus. You think you do 30 plus? 30, 40 plus. Okay. The average human does it 20 times a day. 20 times. Um, my numbers are up there. <laughs> my numbers are up there. I don't know what's wrong with my stomach, but they used to not smell. And boy, the last week or two. Mine don't smell that bad at they've all. They've been smelly. Mine smell Maybe that's bad. a good thing. I don't think it is. They I'm, used to not smell. And, and the last two weeks, they've just been horrible. You start eating like lettuce or something? I don't eat anything green. Hmm. <laughs> Green eggs and ham, maybe. Uh, how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? I don't drink coffee, really. Okay. I sometimes occasionally have a coffee. So, so like 0.5? I'll go 0.3 or something. I have like every... a cup of coffee a week. Okay. The average person drinks two cups, so you're below that. Two so cups of coffee a day? Two cups, one in the morning, one in the little lull, 3 p.m. I don't like to rely on caffeine. I think my dad's above that. Probably. Actually, he's decaf now, I think. He is decaf. Your whole closet's full of decaf K cups. I know. I don't drink coffee at all. So I'm definitely below it. So you were above on the farts, below on coffee. <laughs> now let's see you, where it even. I thought here. more coffee means more farts. I don't know if that. I think beans. Because people like to say beans. they no, they di digest coffee quickly. It runs I'm through. I'm sure you. there's different things that cause yeah, farts. Probably. Though. All right. How many friends do you have? What are we counting as a friend? Not acquaintances, friends. Like that you would hang out with one on one. Oh, hang out with one on one. Yeah, that's a friend. I think. You know what's funny? My definition of friend is much broader. I had this conversation recently. I was like, I think I have like hundreds of friends. Yeah, but just because you're... I you're, think one-on-one -on -one is a real friend. Okay. Like that you would feel comfortable with. 20. 20? I think 20. Okay, well then you're above the average human because the really? average human has four. Okay. I don't keep up with all 20, but I would hang out one-on-one -on -one with 20 or more people. Um, yeah. Four? I'm four. sorry. Four? Four. Four friends? Four. I think their definition of friends is like keep up with and hang out with like consistently well i have my group chats and we circulate and we see people often yeah we try to you're a social guy i'm a social guy i think i have like 10 solid friends that i like hang out with consistently that's fair i think that's my number i like it maybe a little more maybe like 12 or 15 all right how many times do you pee in a day i feel like i don't pee that often now i have the average human amount if i'm drinking water it's like eight times i pee a ton a day but I haven't been drinking a lot of water. So that on average. Might be the reason why my flatulence are smelling. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, on average, how many times do you pee a day? Let's go Let's go six. All right. I think I'm up in those numbers. The average human pees four times a day. Four times? That's respectable. Those are decent <laughs> numbers. Hey, yeah, you know what? You, you pee four times a day, you had a great season. <laughs> how many times do you pick your nose a day? Now, uh, be honest. You want me to be, be honest? Be honest with me. I think if I do it, I do it in the shower. Is that a weird location for that? 
I guess. I feel like it's not talked about enough, so I don't know. We don't have the studies on it. I'll go once a day. Once? A once? Th- yeah, once. I think I'm above it. Above it? Yeah. The average yeah. person picks their nose four times a day. Four? Four. Does each nostril count as one separate one? I think so. Okay, so two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, deal. And then how many times do you swear in a day? Depends who I'm around. Depends. I, don't, I really don't curse often at all. I used to a lot more like growing up. And yeah, then we don't trying to be cool and we don't do anything on this podcast. No, we don't curse here. We, and I feel like that relates to my regular life. I really just don't even talk a lot because I work from home and <laughs> I just don't talk to anybody. <laughs> sounds so sad. <laughs> what do you think about it? I Actually, I really don't talk to anybody. Yeah, I don't have any friends. I don't have any friends. Wow. Okay. You usually don't go outside. <laughs> Let's go four times. I don't know, four. Because I feel like if I'll get like angry playing Fortnite and like okay. I'll jokingly curse to my roommates. The average person swears 80 times a day. 80? Yeah. That's insane. That's I am way below that. I'm way below, but I, I could I could see it. Because some people like like our friend Ron. Yeah. He just if you're listening cursing. to this, Ron, you Ron, just you love curse it. a lot. You love it. You should cut it out of your diet. <laughs> uh, all right. One more. Money in your savings account. You don't have to tell me the exact number, but like I'm going to give you a number and you say if you're above or below it. Okay. I could just tell. Yeah, sure. <laughs> to say it <laughs> in the world. <laughs> it depends what you want. Are you less? Are you above or below $1,000? Above. Okay. Because the average human has less than $1,000 in their savings account. Okay. No, that's not okay. That's not, not you, great. Fi- financial advisor Zach is saying to okay. save three to six months of expenses oh. in your savings account. This Welcome way, if you ever lose your class. job, you ever do anything, you have something to fall back on for three to six months. Yeah, I agree. I don't know if this is calculating like student debt and everything too. Yeah, that it could probably be. is. Yeah. Well, if you have debt, pay your debt first before you yeah, start. Pay that debt off. Get it off. And that's the educational part of it. <laughs> uh, hours spent on social media. How many uh. do you spend a day? I'm on my phone for like five and a half hours in a day. Yeah, I mean, our job is pretty much just this yeah. social media. So I'm so. All, yeah, I'm getting ideas. Automatically on social media through what we do. Yeah, because you're posting, we're getting ideas, and then the downtime, you're just watching. Yeah, I'm just working when I do it. You it's know? all work. I'm just working. I'm going to say at least three hours. Okay. The average human spends an hour, which I think is inaccurate, but I would say I'm like three to five hours, hours a day. Hours small. Three do you count four. messages as a social media? No, no, no. no. But I spend a lot of time in messages. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, it's whatever. It's too much. It's too much. And then how many time, How much calories do you consume in a day? 3,000 plus. Yeah, I know you're up so there. I'm a maniac. If I'm eating properly, which sometimes I do and sometimes well, I do What's your average then? 3,000. It's 3,000? You have a 3K. The average person, do you want to guess what the average person is? 1,790. 2,100 calories a day, the average person. We're unhealthy here. We're unhealthy. Well, I am a big boy. Okay. He's a big boy. You heard I'm it. a big guy. And that's all. Okay. Moving on from the uh, the food rum or whatever that was. That wasn't food <laughs> at all. <laughs> whatever you just talked about. Um, I saw a clip recently of Stephen A. giving a hot take. Okay. And I want to know your take on it. Yeah, I'm going to ask you the question. You know, I've been really liking Stephen A.'s new stuff that he does. Yeah. It's so random. It's been great. I love it. Well, yeah, he's been doing, he yeah. has his podcast or whatever it. it is. Did LeBron James ruin the dunk contest? Why? Now, this is a Stephen A. take. Why would he ruin the dunk house? He's never been in it. Exactly. That's why he ruined it. Because oh. no stars are signing up for the dunk contest anymore. So I have my own take, but you can tell, tell me what Stephen A. said first. He said stars as recent as Dwight Howard and Vince Carter participated. I'm saying Blake Griffin. He's saying Michael Jordan. The dunk hmm. contest used to be the pinnacle of All-Star Weekend. Everyone yeah. wanted to see the dunk contest. I agree. And LeBron just ruined it by not doing it. Hmm. He never signed up. He made it uncool I guess to be right. in the dunk contest I mean you had a few people come in Zach Levine like kind of a star but like yeah. he kind of formed into one who Aaron Gordon Aaron Gordon but th- those guys aren't the pinnacle of the I league know. I mean it makes sense I mean Jalen Brown did it this year and he saw what he did yeah, yeah. Um, I, I have two different takes on this one yes I agree with what you're saying and I think that stars should do the dunk contest two I actually have three takes. Two, I don't think the dunk contest should be a thing anymore because we've ran out of dunks, I think. Yeah. Three, if we do keep the dunk contest around, I think you should bring in professional dunkers because when you see professional dunkers, they're like bouncing it off the ground, catching it behind the back and slamming it behind there. It's so much better. And that's all they do is dunk. They don't play basketball. They don't do promotion. They just dunk. And if you brought them in or had them teach the NBA stars, then it's a whole new, whole new animal. 
I'm, I feel like and you, that's my TED talk. Thank, thank you. I feel like you need to have the dunk contest though. Like I just can't not have it during yes, the All-Star weekend because you do a one-on-one tournament. Oh, yes. Oh, that was my idea. Now you're really proposing. That wasn't my stuff. idea. I took that from somebody. <laughs> but a one-on-one tournament of 16 people. Imagine in 50 years from now, we're gonna count. We would count people's one-on-one championships oh. and be like, LeBron's a, a 12-time one-on-one champion. I feel like best one on one player in the league. Do you think it's too dangerous? Do you think like that no. rate of injury is too high to play one on one? I don't think like so. Like if a player got hurt in a one on one game. Yeah, but they they wouldn't do it anymore. Yeah, but I think that that's the whole fun of it. Why well, exactly? It's the same thing with the dunk contest and the All Star game, why it's going downhill. I tried to I'm imagine trying. a world where all these dunkers who haven't participated after the LeBron James era got into a dunk contest together. Mm. Now it's somewhat different generations, but hear me out. Mm-hmm. Would you watch a dunk contest that was John Morant, Mm -hmm. Zion Williamson? Those are the modern guys. Yep. We missed out on Russell Westbrook ever participating. Okay. And we missed out on Derrick Rose. Okay. Those four people alone being in dunk contests could have carried the legacy still. They had the bunnies. They got the hops. They could have done some exciting stuff. I just just think think the dunks are getting old. Yeah, just Just repetitive. I just think, yeah. When was the last time you saw a really cool new dunk? Wasn't the dunk contest all right like two years ago or something? It was Mac McClung last year, but he didn't do anything new. He's just 5'11 or something. Well, short guys can jump. That's fun. Yeah. It's fun, but it's fun. I don't like when like Obi Toppin's in it. And he's like 6'10 so and he's random. dunking. It's like not. I know. And then it's other like Toppin having brothers like brothers Taco Fall. He just goes. And that's the dunk contest. Did you folks. see Wemby and the Space Jam arm? No. The picture? No. He like got fouled and like reached out and his arm looks so long. It looks that's like the last scene cool, of Space though. Jam. It was very fun. All right. Well, it looks like Space Jam. Space Jam's a good Segway. Is it? Yeah, not really. Uh, I have a game, a series, a new series that I found. Uh, you're going to guess how old these fictional characters are. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. How old are these fictional characters? Pikachu. Pikachu's an old lad. You think he's old? 12. You would classify 12 as old? I'm just ripping 12. Why, it's Pikachu. How long is his life? You he's, just said he's old and said 12. It's like a dog. Like It's, it's a Pikachu. It's I know a it's dog. a dog. Yeah, but it's like dog years. You got to multiply by seven. Is that how it works? <laughs> Pikachu's only got like 15 years in him. Okay. I don't think he's living past 12. That. Yeah, 12. He's 20. 20? He can almost drink in America. <laughs> Look that's, at that guy. That's a good one. That was a good joke. <laughs> what, what about SpongeBob? SpongeBob is how old, old I think no, he's... Give me some... Break it down. Break no, it down. I think he's old. I feel like I've seen his driver's license before. He could drive. He could well, drive. barely, but yeah, he can well, drive. I don't think he can. I don't, I don't think, think he ever he got the license. But he's old enough. He's old enough. So we're talking at least 17. And then he's been in boating school for at least 20 years. <laughs> 20 years in boating he's, school. He's the worst student to ever go to boating school. I know. He probably is. What about Patrick? He didn't even go. 37. He's 34 years yeah. old. That's, he's that's old. Good. I knew he was he old. old. He's middle, not middle aged. He's just 34. You'd think at some point he'd get it together. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's just, I mean, he's a great fry cook though. What about Mario? Mario. Oh, the plumber. He does have a plumbing job. So yeah. he's probably old too. You think? At least forty. Are, I feel is like him and Luigi twins, brother. They're brothers. They're just brothers. I don't know. All right. So well, they're not identical it? twins. How old is he? Um, I feel like you can't be a plumber under forty years old. So I'm going to go forty-five. I disagree with that. Do you? Yeah. He's twenty-four. Twenty-four. Younger than us. Oh, young, young Jim. Young, young, young lad. But he's been doing it for a while. Time works differently <laughs> in the Sega universe. I don't understand that. Uh, all right, Captain America. Captain America. Captain America. Needed to be old enough to be enlisted in the army. You're right. And Chris I think, Evans. He was, I think he was fresh and new into the army, and he was a weak young lad before he, he nice went to haircut. the laboratory. He had a nice haircut. 20. You think he's 20? Yeah. He's 93. That doesn't make any sense. He was in ice for 66 years. Was he? I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't watch the movie. I didn't either. <laughs> I didn't know that. He's like Walt Disney, but Walt Disney <laughs> hasn't come back yet. Yeah, is his head frozen underneath Disneyland? He is frozen. He he's is going to come back. I thought it was his head. No, he's going to come back. I That's think it's plan. plan. I think it's that. That was his plan to come back. I don't think that works. What about minions? The minions as a whole, like their species. They I guess, feel young. Them. They feel young to me. Young. But aren't they in pictures with Gru from like yeah. his childhood? Yes. 30. Oh, no. 65. No. <laughs> They're 60 million years old. 60 million? They're one of the oldest fictional creatures. So they don't... They don't... But they never have gained any intelligence. <laughs> They're so dumb. I don't know what to tell you on I that one. Know. 60 million is bizarre. It's old. What about Shrek? Shrek? Donkey! Yeah, he seems like a... Donkey! Grumpy old man. 
No, but he's young. <laughs> no, but he's probably really old. You're just... <laughs> 200. He's 200, going back and forth. 210 years 200. old. 200. 210. He's an ogre. I don't know how Ogres old... Ogres don't live that long. I don't know how old they live for. He's 37. Oh. Respect him. Yeah. Sorry, Trek. Jesus. And Mike Meyer, two voices. Don't Shrek. get... All right, you're up. Okay. Um, speaking of uh, movies, <laughs> I love a good transition. Me too. We're so good at it. Fantastic at <laughs> we it. We haven't gotten better at all. Guess the top five movie couples of all time. Now, this is via puberty. Oh. <sighs> Shrek and Fiona. Shrek and Fiona are number one. Yes. What a transition. They stuck through it through the ogre days. Oh, yeah. They got through it. And then the they went back times. to the ogre. And you know what? By choice. Their love is so strong. They had ogre babies. They had ogre babies. Um, oh, they're so cute, the ogre babies. This is five? This is five. I could do 10 if you felt confident. Oh, I don't know if I could get 10. No, so let's um, just stick with five. Shrek and Fiona is number one? Yeah. Wow. Let's go, Shrek. Good for you. Good for you guys. Uh, fictional movie couples, you said? Yeah. Oh, Jack from the Titanic and his girlfriend. Jack and Rose from the Titanic is number four. Yes. Yeah, very well done. Oh, my goodness. You make me so the proud sometimes. Right there. I think it's like, um, what about like uh, Daphne and Fred? Daphne and Fred are not there. Damn they're not, they don't even crack top 10. Damn it. I don't know <laughs> if they're really dating. Are they? I also think he's they doing something with, uh, with uh, Velma. Velma. You think? I think there's something going on. You think? <laughs> I thought I thought Shaggy. Was I doing think the whole. I think they got freaky. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me think. Movie couples. This is movie couples. Yeah, and then one's like, uh, like, like. Yes, there is a movie for it, but it's like a cartoon, classic cartoon couple. <sighs> oh, Mickey and Minnie. Mickey and Minnie are number two. You are murdering. They're goaded. Right You're killing. They're goaded. They have a whole they park named after them. <laughs> they do. Their Does house. Minnie Minnie has a park? No, it's just it's just Mickey. It's just Mickey Mouse Park. I don't think he has never, a park. Either. Never, yeah, never been. Maybe it's Magic just, Kingdom. I think it's just called Disneyland. It's called Magic Kingdom. <laughs> okay, um, they're number two. You need number three and number five. Now, one's animated and one is um, like real, but in a fiction, very fictional world. Can I have another clue? Um, both all-time classic movies. One's a series, and the other one they've had. Oh, multiple. Harry. No. And Hermione? Were they no. dating? Or no, no? They, they don't make the list because they were like, now they're together. But throughout oh. the movies, they Okay, weren't. okay. Princess Leia? Yes. And Luke? Anakin. Is Princess Leia Luke's mom? I don't know. No. It's Who's Princess Leia and Han Solo. That's what I said. <laughs> That's not that. what you said. Yeah, no, that is That's what not, I said. They are number five. Very well that. done. Very well that. done. That's what All right, I said. you need number three. This is animated. Animated classic movie from our childhood. Classic movie. Surf's up. Cody Not Maverick. Some, no. And Koala. <laughs> no, no. I forget her name. Not it. Classic animated movie from our childhood. They have songs in the movie. It's not helping me. Phil Collins. Tarzan. Oh, wait. Not Phil Collins. I don't know. What, what <laughs> is Phil it? Col Phil Collins would have been Tarzan. Really? They're animals. Nice. Tarzan. No. Pumbaa is in the movie. Oh. Pumbaa. The Lion King people. Simba <laughs> and Nala. I don't know that. Hey, Sabanya. That was pretty good. That's pretty on point there. What language was that? African. All right. Well, I'm going <laughs> to quiz you on languages. <laughs> okay. Which language is harder to learn? All of them. So I have how long it takes people to get fluid in those languages. I think these are going to be like years worth. Years worth of work. Mandarin or Russian? Mandarin. Well, you were very confident. 10,000. It's the hardest language to learn in the oh, world. Oh, you know that. I do know Look that. You, cultured, you know what? I a don't, cultured king. I don't know <laughs> a lot of things, but I know that one. My girlfriend hates when you text me and it says king. She's like, why is he sending I'm me I'm just that? saying it. I don't know. Just let me. I don't, <laughs> so I'm, weird. I'm running out of things to say. Uh, yes, you're right. Mandarin takes seven years and it's the hardest and longest language to learn. Would you rather me call you beast? Yeah. Beast. Chief. Animal. Chief. Russian takes Russian takes 4.2 years. 4.2. French or English? Mm. English as in American. <laughs> oh, my God. You're making this way worse for us. Like, come on. Help us out a little bit. Uh, yeah, but there's like... <laughs> Jesus. There's like the English British English. American. <laughs> there's like the British English. You mean American? <laughs> <laughs> um, what was the other one? French. I'm going to say English. I think English is a very tough language to learn because there's a lot of, a lot of things don't end up being the same. Like you're, there's homophones and everything. <laughs> you're incorrect. Okay. English is like one of the easiest languages to learn. It yeah. takes 10 months. French takes 1.1 1 .1 year. Okay. Not that much longer though. Spanish or Swedish? 
Swedish. <laughs> Spanish or Sp- I'm gonna say Swedish. Yeah. Do you know anything in Swedish? The fish? The and the language no. I mean. In the language? Um No. Mm. Okay. Cheese? Swiss well you cheese? were correct. That's Switzerland. Swiss okay. cheese. Okay. Switzerland. <laughs> what is this? Swedish. <laughs> Swedish. <laughs> Swedish Swedish it takes one and a half years to learn, become fluent in, and Spanish takes eleven months, which I should be fluent. I've taken like seven <laughs> years of Spanish. I took a oh, lot of Spanish. But we were uh, also like not fully developed in the brain aspect. Do you think I would get in trouble if I admit I cheated on my final exam in Spanish and now junior year of high school? Did you just admit that? Do you think the last 40 questions? Are, are you saying t- hypothetically? Hypothetically. Or no, you would I get getting, in trouble? No, you wouldn't. Okay. So are you saying not hypothetically? The last 40 questions on my Spanish <laughs> final. Mrs. Gold? This girl Puebla. Mrs. Gold? Yeah, Miss Gold. Sorry, Miss Gold. I can't say her full name. Okay. Her last name was Puebla. Drop it. Reading comp se- section. <laughs> they might come for you. She nailed it. <laughs> the FBI. My school. It's going to revoke your college degree. Was that it? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Um, we love our bathroom questions. <laughs> yeah, you do. We've been least. very focused on the bathroom. I know. We've broken down the bathroom <laughs> to a T. You know what? We didn't touch they yet. They know what we do when we go You know in what? There. We didn't touch what yet. Didn't People touch? pee in toilets. They do. They stay out of the sink. Yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you pee in the shower? Are you asking me as a friend or I'm asking me as a podcast host? <laughs> I'm asking you, <laughs> Do to, you to release it to the world. Do you? Yes. I just pulled the Uno reverse card. Of course I do. Now <laughs> yeah, you admit. Yes, I do. How often? Probably every time. <laughs> every time? No, not every time. If I have to pee, yeah. I'm not going to get... Stop the shower. Now, do you pee like immediately when you get in the shower or oh. do you like wait a little bit and then you pee? No, I don't use the shower as an excuse to go pee. Is that I what actually, you're asking? I actually go in there, run the shower and just pee in the shower. And then you leave. And then I leave. I walk out. It's like Don't flushing. wash your hands. I'm actually saving water. Do you wash your hands after you pee in the shower? No. <laughs> I'm washing my hands in the shower. I'm using kidding. the body wash. I know. I'm kidding. Oh. Yeah. Do you pee in outdoor showers? Uh... Depends where. Do you pee in other people's showers? That's the question. Um, <laughs> I don't. I have. Not yours. I have never. That's peed, a lie. I've never peed That's in your a shower. Lie. I might have peed in your outdoor shower, like once <laughs> or twice. Definitely. Once. I go straight into the drain, though. There's no. <laughs> you there's, can't control the this, drain that has the holes that are this yeah, big. Yeah, I go straight go, in. I go straight in. I make sure to do a thorough cleaning afterwards. No, you do I not. Do. There's I no it, brushes out there to clean. I'm not brushing it. I run the water on it. Oh, that's it not seeps cleaning into the it rocks. at all. It seeps into the rocks. It's good for the soil. What are you talking it's about? Rocks. It's not soil. I pee in my girlfriend's shower. Oh, she probably hates you. <laughs> Can we move on from this topic? <laughs> Did you have anything else to I, add? I can't to edit that. that. Yeah, Did you have anything else to add? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's over. All right. I think we, uh, <laughs> we should retire the bathroom <laughs> subjects, even though you guys love them. Those, those get eaten up online, those topics. Should we make an announcement? Yeah, I forgot about the announcement. <laughs> My back is so itchy. Can I, I open why. it? Yeah, sure. It's going on your side, so I get to open it. Okay. <laughs> we, had a, we hit a million subscribers. When you hit a million subscribers, you get the YouTube gold plaque. We have the silver one here. We're hitting 100,000 100, subscribers, and now we have the gold one. I feel like you weren't excited enough. We hit a million subscribers. <laughs> we we did, did it. We got a plaque. They it. gave us a plaque. They gave us a plaque. You're right. Let me see. <gasps> I want to open it. I want to open it. All right. We're going to open it live, and then we're going to reveal some news after. And this is the big news of Podcast Would you 68. like to read this? Uh, this? I'll read this out loud as Brian You don't have to read the this. whole thing, but just read like a sentence or two. From YouTube. You did it. One mission, one channel, and one more thing. One million subscribers. Congratulations. The same thing they said last time. You started with just a few viewers. It's an, a milestone that we have. It's a privilege to be part of your journey. We can't good. wait to see what you do next. This is from the CEO. Did he send us the last one? I think that that's like Neil a copy and paste. Mahan. Thing, but Neil Mahan, thank YouTube you. CEO. Thank you very much. And thank you for the... The gold. Drum roll. Drum roll, please. Wow. This is my first time seeing it out of casing. Me too. And I, mean, I don't even do you, see it. Where do I put this? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> going to wall or something. I'm just going to throw it down. This looks really nice. <laughs> it does look nice. I love the reflection. The reflection in the gold. Me too. It Who is gigantic thought? compared to the other one. I know. 
It's like twice the size. It, I, I think it actually is. Can I hold it? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Now, the one thing I'd like to say is this is not possible without our subscribers. Yes. People well, obviously, watching, yeah. watching on the live chat, if you're <laughs> listening on the podcast, on YouTube, Spotify, wherever you are. Thank you. This is for you guys. You could probably see my camera in the reflection of the thing. You probably could see the whole background. Now, Brian, and we, the have, balloons over there. we have gigantic. Oh. We have gigantic news correlated to yes, this. Yes, we do. So, jokingly, in some live streams, I have said that we would quit our jobs if we reached a million subscribers. Yeah. Now, to people listening to the full length here, that was never real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we weren't. <laughs> Tra- like we didn't mean to hit a million subscribers and quit our jobs. That that wasn't the should plan. We put, should we leave this here for right now? Yeah, sure. Is that, that actually there? is sick. Yeah, that is sick. Well, we have decided to quit our jobs. Do you want to say it again? Yeah, I don't know if I wanted to say it at the same time for sure for him, or if like if maybe did. You want to just do real yeah. quick? What we quit our. Let's jobs? Let's do it at the same time. Three, two, one. We, we quit, quit our, our jobs. jobs. We did it. So we quit our jobs. We, we hit quit. a million subscribers on the makeshift project. This is the plaque. That's the plaque right there. Now, what does this mean for the people? What What does does it mean? mean? What does it mean, Zach? (laughs) (laughs) This means this means that we're going to be making way more content. We're going to be doing podcasts weekly, like we always do. We might we might create another channel on TikTok, YouTube, wherever it is. We're going to be out in the out. We're going to be out in the wild, wild. on the golf course, on the golf course, in the streets, in the streets. Maybe New York, maybe all over. We might explore the New York City sewage system. Probably that's, not. That's not, gonna that's not what we're doing. That would, that be, would be a good YouTube cool. video. <laughs> uh, we're going to play some basketball. We're going to do more challenges, me versus Zach, because I think you guys want to see that, and we want to do it. We uh, have. I was thinking maybe keep oh. like an all-time tally in the studio of like each challenge, me versus Zach, and you get a tally if you win the challenge. Okay. To keep it like, it. like not just so really like, all right, Zach beat him in basketball. You keep like a, or Brian beat him in surfing, whatever. Like yeah. you keep an all-time tally. We used to do that in college for video games. Yeah, that's that where great. I thought of Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Um, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like yet, but Brian and I are going to sit down in this basement within the next few weeks, put together a master plan mm-hmm. for premium content. Yes, we're going to try to get more guests, I think. We we're don't know do what it we're going to do. Listen, we have <laughs> bought back pretty much 40 hours a week Yeah, to be able to invest into our channel for our followers, for our fans. We're super stoked. We're excited. We're going to take the leap of faith. So if people didn't know, me and Zach both had full-time jobs the entirety of this YouTube channel, this TikTok channel, this whole social media brand. I worked in social media. Zach worked in marketing. Eh, Finance, marketing. (laughs) Yeah, sure. Eh, I don't really know what I did. No. (laughs) Uh, So now we're done. We're going completely head-on into the social media realm, and we are are full-time content creators working for ourselves. That's it. The dream. So we need you guys to watch. We need we <laughs> moral of the story. We need you to watch to make us money and support our livelihood. If you made it this far, do not stop now. Please, Please. This yeah. is, I'm begging seriously because this would be the wrong time to do it. Yeah. If you were gonna stop, you should have stopped like a year yeah. ago. Yeah. It would stop in like 50 years when we retire. Yeah. Just. Not right now. Yeah, please. <laughs> so we continue to, to watch the stuff. Continue the supporting us. Um, we're going to be involved. We're going to be communicating back with the fans. Mm-hmm. We might start a broadcast channel yeah, yeah, on Instagram, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe a Discord. I don't know. There's so many realms of possibility. If you have ideas, feel free to drop them in the comments. Yeah, DM us down. on Instagram or something. DM. We answer almost all of our DMs on Instagram. I have to catch up on that because we're a little behind. Yeah. But I'm going to go through it. It's on my to-do list. Okay. And whatever goes on the whiteboard gets completed. We're going to have a big whiteboard right behind you, that camera. Right Eventually. behind you, there's going to be a big whiteboard. Eventually. Okay, fantastic. That Back into the podcast. Back into the podcast. So thank you. Thank it's you. exciting stuff. Um, Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I forgot I had a prop on me. Oh, do you want me to go? Or do you want me to... No, you, you go. up. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'll bring it out later. All right, well, we do this game. We do blind rankings in our short form content, and we never post them on here. So I wanted to, so I wanted to do a blind ranking, but I wanted to do 10 topics. 10 topics? So blind I want, you need to keep a list. I can't keep track of this in my head. Oh, I'm nervous. It's 10, but it's foods. All and any foods. Desserts, foods, anything edible. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Rank these 10 foods without knowing what comes next. Ready. Yes. Hot dogs. You know, my gut says eight. 
Yeah, you yeah, don't, you don't like the glizzy. You don't respect. You know, the every single time you eat a hot dog, you lose like ten minutes of your life. Well, I ate one yesterday. I've and lost it was a thick boy. I've actually lost eight and a half years. <laughs> I'm too. going eight. I feel like they're unhealthy. They're not good for you. Mashed potatoes, great side dish. Yeah, fantastic side dish. It's I'm all gonna, foods. You don't know how many main dishes there are. You know how many sides. I'm gonna put it above the hot dog. Okay, but I'm not putting it far above. I'm putting it at seven. Okay, mashed potato, apple pie. Mm. I've never had apple pie. I don't think I've ever had it either. If it's a fruit in dessert, I've never had it. Wow. <laughs> okay. Nine. I'm starting off Damn. the list low. I don't like these foods. Right. Grilled cheese. Oh, I make the best this side Say of the it. Mississippi, and I've been to both. Is that what the quote yeah, was? It was. <laughs> um, I make the best grilled cheese. There's so many different variations. It's a beautiful art form. Okay. There should be an, an own museum for it. Yeah. And I should be the creator. Like the Nobel Peace Prize, the grilled cheese prize. I'm putting grilled right. cheese at four, though. Four. Okay. I want some I want some upside, but it's definitely up there. Yeah, and that's respectable. Yeah. I mean, it's not that filling is the thing. I always feel like you have to have multiple grilled cheeses to have like a good... Grilled cheese eye. Grilled cheese eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Caesar salad. Why? Why? Some people love Caesar salad. You know who doesn't? You. Me. And me. that is... Well, we haven't tried it, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's easily going at 10. That's like the worst... Ten. Yeah, I don't like salad. All right. I don't eat salad. All right. I'm really not a fan. So what do you have left? We're five in. I have one, two, three, five, and six. So I've completely waited till the... I'm you a second... I am a second half team. All right. Meatballs. Oh, I love meatballs. You love a good meatball. Why would my I voice to get like that? I don't know. <laughs> it's tasty. Meatballs at three. Wow. So you know what? One, if two, there's meat, five, six. If, if it's if it's if there's meat, if it's beef, turkey, chicken, it could it's be going top five. High. It's going high. <laughs> yeah, meatballs at three. Barbecue ribs. You ever have firecracker meatballs? No, delicious. Barbecue ribs. Barbecue ribs at six. What? You just said meat. It should be top five. <laughs> that's a, that's like one of the biggest meats. No, but barbecue. It's too tough to eat. The bone. There's never enough meat on the bones. Mm. That's just not it. Mm. Chocolate chip pancakes. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're in a Are realm. we in the top three now? That's going two. <laughs> I used to have <laughs> chocolate chip pancakes like every single day as a kid. I have no idea what I'm typing, by the way. I'm trying not to look down <laughs> while I'm typing. Um, I used to have it like every day as a kid. It's and so I, I've had it a few times as an adult. And Pop let me parts. tell you, it's like a, par it's a party in the morning. They're still good. <laughs> it's a reason why there's cake in the name. Party in your mouth. Uh, what do you have left? One. I spelled it right. I have one and five left. One and five left. Applesauce. Applesauce at five. We're not happy with that at all. I, not I, even a little bit. That hurts the list a little bit. Is applesauce a kid's food? Do, I think it's, do adults no, eat that? I think it's very uh, hydrating. They have it at sport. It's like sports teams. Like the, really? Yeah. They have the little applesauce to go. It's, I think it's hydrating. I left number one open for a reason. And you're going to like the way you look here. Do I? I think you think so. I hope so. Deviled eggs. Oh, deviled eggs. <laughs> I had a poached egg the other day. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> I thought you were saying it's good. So no, you're unhappy with that. There's like a watery taste to it. That's like it gross. was, it was terrible. Yeah, I guess you gross. don't have it alone, and I had it alone. On I'm the becoming side. a cucumber guy. Cucumbers are good in my sushi. You, you got to put um salt on them. I know. Okay. <laughs> oh really? Oh, I don't. <laughs> on know that. just cucumbers. Guess the top five unhealthiest countries via medicalaid.com. Now this is based on obesity rate, physical activity, alcohol consumption, and more. USA. USA is number four. What? They should USA be number, number one. They should be number How one. How are they not number one? Should be number one, but they're not. I think I don't think there's many places in Europe on this list because Europe's a pretty healthy continent. I would say that there's one place in oh, Europe. Oh, really? England. It's a little close to home. England. Not England. UK. Not UK. Ireland. Not Ireland. Uh, Italia. No, not Italia. Close to home. What do you mean? Close to home. There's two places right next to each other that only you and I know the country name. <laughs> Latvia? <laughs> Latvia is number two. The poor we, Latvians. We're the only two people that know Latvia? Yeah. In the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Who else do you know? Lithuania. Lithuania is number five. Well done. My friend Simon. He's from there. Shout yes. Out Simon. Representation. <laughs> um, For a not good thing. Okay. And then there's Asia. There's people in Asia. I got no Asia. No Africa. Countries. No Africa. South countries. America. We're going South America. South America? And we have another Europe one. Brazil. Not Brazil. Argentina. Argentina is number really? three. Very well I done. I don't think about them as being unhealthy. I think it's it's less about what they eat alone. It's more about the people. It's there. more about the obesity rate, um, physical activity. Where's I'll, the last one? They love to drink. Canada. You know? Last one's in Europe, I think. 
I really don't know countries well. Um, but it starts with a B. Bulgaria. Bulgaria is number one. Why is that the first one you thought? Of? I have no idea. That was very I read good. You. I read you like a book. I have nothing to add to that. <laughs> I would think USA would be number one. USA is not. It's good not. for us. Good, good for, for us. You know what? Number Only four. I feel like bad. we're moving down the ranks. Yeah. We're getting a little bit healthier. I we're like doing it. our thing. I'm not personally, but I have a riddle for you. Okay, let's do it. What's the one question you can't answer yes to? Uh, how do you say no? Good. Good one. Did you like that? <laughs> that's not the answer, though. Uh, that's very good. Do you want to help me murder someone? No, that's I mean, you could say yes to that. That's that. That's that's not how that works. Yeah, but you really shouldn't. You shouldn't. It's not that you shouldn't. It's just that you can't. Um, you answer can't yes to answer it. yes to it. Yeah. What's the only question that you can't answer yes to? So if people ask you this question, you could say no, but you can't say yes. You can't say yes unless you're lying. Are you a boy? No. <laughs> Wow. Wait, I am a boy. Yes. <laughs> oh, you can't say yes. Are you a girl? No. Yes. No. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Stop confusing me. I'm ask- I asked the questions. How old are, are you? Are you asking me the question or are you answering the riddle? <laughs> I'm answering the riddle. How old are you? Is that the question? It's not just me. It's anyone. It's anyone. You can't answer yes to it? Yeah. What's the one question you can't answer yes to? Are you dead? That's it. I feel good with that one. Are you dead? What's the one? An- <laughs> so wait, yes, kind of. What's the one question you can't answer yes to when alive? <laughs> oh, uh-huh. Just that, because that's technically right. It is technically right. So but that would- has, does nothing has, has nothing no- to do with no. The well, it's like kind of close, but like I'm not sure. I need like a clue here. <laughs> Take. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back years. Right. So you and I. I asked my mom if I could sleep over your house, and she, she says, says yes. Okay. And I go sleep over. Okay. And I'm a little drowsy. And we're playing video games, and I all of a sudden stop playing. Okay. What question are you going to ask me? Are you sick? No. Do you feel okay? No. Do you want to go home? No. Are you uh, willing and able? No. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you, it's late. It's very late. Are you sleeping? Are you asleep yet? Are you sleeping? You would say no most of the time. I mean, I time. was pretty close. You were pretty close. I think you were actually technically right. But I'll, I, I adjusted I the question. I can say yes. What if I'm sleepwalking? <laughs> yeah, but it's... What if I'm sleep talking? I don't and know. And say yes. Ryan, I didn't Zach. come up with it. This wasn't my <laughs> idea. Loophole. Okay. I got a prop. Prop. That's my tape prop. measure. Okay. Or is that your tape measure? This That's is yours. Tape measure? This okay. is yours. I took it from upstairs. Okay. Pull the distance I name on this tape measure blindly. Okay. You're just going to go. I We're going to give you three chances. I can do it. At three different distances. First, first, first try. First try? Yeah, let's go. 18 Wait, inches. The, okay. Basketball hoop. 18 inches. 18 inches. Basketball hoop. Don't look. I'm not looking. This is oh. the back of it. No, can but I, you no, you can't look at the tape. That's the right back off. of it. I don't care. You I can't can, like, look at it at all. No, I want you to just pull it open. With my me. eyes closed. Yeah. All right. Lock it. Uh, Are you going to lock it? Hold on. <laughs> uh, can I redo it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Lock it. Check check your work. I was. Sure. I think you were on eighteen the first time was you I, did it. I think so. I couldn't I was tell. Fourteen and a half. You know, you know what? A little short. Give little me another short. try. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to give you a new distance. Oh yeah, I know. Okay. Five inches. <laughs> it's funny watching you do this. Were you counting in increments? Yeah. Five. I think you went just over, just over five, five. and a half. Hey, five and three quarters. Five inches. and three quarters. You're five within. You're within. Again. You're getting better at this. All right. You ready for the last test? <sighs> yeah. You're going to give me like a big number here, aren't you? Two feet. So 24 inches. What are you counting? <laughs> are you I was just doing? making sure. That's one foot. <laughs> that feels a little big. Um, hey, I like that. <laughs> How you feeling? How you feel feeling? good? You came up short again. 19 inches. Long. I don't know. That was fun. How do you do this? Podcast 68. That's it, right? We quit our jobs. We quit our jobs <laughs> for you. So please don't stop watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do the whole thing. Please. And, uh, we'll we need s- it. Guess what next podcast is? Podcast 69. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Adios. (laughs) Adios. What am I, Spanish?